Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Vlogmas Day 22. Um, this is going to be a friend mail compilation from all the Christmas stuff that I got this year, which I'm so excited. Except, of course, the great gift from Kathy Quick, which I included on the JCPenney's haul. Um, I've got two pieces to open today, and um, I'll show you some that I have gotten previously. And I wanted to just thank everybody for all their well wishes. Um, I had trouble sleeping the night before last. Um, and then yesterday I was, I don't know what it was. I, I don't know if it was a blood sugar issue or a hormone issue or if I actually was getting like a 24 hour bug or something, but I had really, um, bad stomach pains and I spiked a fever and I really was completely nauseated the whole day. So, um, I know a lot of times, I mean, I, I've been. Uh, monitoring my diet. My diet's been normal. Uh, it's been it's the same it's been, let's put it that way. Um, so nothing new in my diet, but um, I know sometimes the, the activity and the stress from the holidays uh, does stuff to your body with your blood sugar levels and stuff. So I'm not sure if that was it um, or if it was a fever. I don't check my blood sugar every day. My Test strips are very expensive, even with the co-payment, as a little bit more than I can afford. So, what I would do is I would have some and then just check it if I was having like wasn't feeling well, like I'd check it low and high. But I just actually had run out, so um, I got to get more. But I didn't have any for yesterday. But today I feel much better. Um, I slept almost the whole day yesterday, on and off. Just got up enough to do the the channel work. And upload and, and voiceover. The Kalachi uh, cookie vo voiceover is me not feeling well. So I kind of like, it had like 19 edits. It was, it was crazy. But um, I know you guys don't care. You guys love me. So um, I'm feeling much better today. So thank you for all your well wishes. Um, but we're going to open. We got a card. I showed this to you on the live stream. This is from Amanda Landers who lives here in Missouri. Hi, Amanda. We're neighbors. Um, and... Oh, it's a pretty Christmas card, too. Do you see that? I'll read it to you. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever's, whoever believes in him should not perish, but f but have everlasting life. John 3.16, the King James Version. <laughs> the King James Version. It's one of those things that I know the passage... But depending on the version, the words are different. That's why I wanted to read it. And because if you guys can tell, it's kind of little print. I was having trouble, but um, I love that. Oh, she wrote a note. Um, Hi, Jerry Ann. From my family to yours, Merry Christmas. I just want you to know that you are an inspiration for me. I love all your videos. You are so gifted with the ability to create beautiful DIYs. I think there is no way I can do that, but I watch you. I watch your videos, and I'm like... Yes, I can. I see. That's why I like it. So keep creating, girl. I will keep you, Jim, and Mom in my prayers. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless, Amanda. P.S. My four-year-old loves... It looks like it says no man's. Oh, no man's. Like snowman. <laughs> That's cute. She put it in quotes, too, because I was like, I'm not, I'm not getting it. He loves no man's. So, with inspiration from your DIY, we made one. And boy, are we proud! Aww. Uh, she actually, I believe Amanda, that you sent me the the no man's that you made, and it's really cute. Love the Lander family. It says the card says, "May the love of the Savior be fill your home this uh, with joy." Merry Christmas, and then it says the Lander family. It's very sweet. Thank you. Aww. He loves no man's. I'm going to hang that one up. And I got a package from Mary Ellen. Oh, you want to look at it? Oh, thank you. I think my I think my box cutter is still here. Um, Mary Ellen has always been so generous and always sends me such beautiful things. Including those cute plant ha antlers that Jim was wearing. Eh. 
Mary Ellen, Mary, Mary Ellen has told us in the comments that she is uh, was from St. Louis and now lives in California. This priority mailbox is giving me hard time. <laughs> Actually, I just woke up and my arthritis doesn't make a grip just yet. I'm not as strong as I would be in an hour. But I got lots to do today, so I got to get to this. Oh. Oh, come on, you stinker. Look. It just says that much. Are you available for opening this? Uh -huh. You should eat something better for breakfast. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Go to the postal service. Aw, and her card's in here. Okay, so make sure I get everything out. There's her card. So pretty. Oh, I love this tissue. You got enough of that, don't you? I don't have any of this tissue. No. No. Oh, it's a box of goodies. Ah, she got me more of the self-adhesive hooks. That's for our advent. Now we can make an advent calendar instead of just the 12 days of Christmas calendar. Yay. Thanks, Mary Ellen. Oh, she's beautiful. It's like a punched tin... Uh, in the color of the wrought iron um, angel. <gasps> She's beautiful. Oh, I wonder if there's a story. Oh, this is really cute. This is really cute. I don't know where she got this from. I'm going to show everybody. Hold on. It's really cute. It's a little tiny pouch of the red truck with the Christmas tree on it. It says, Happy Holidays. This would be great to add to my keychain for my Aldi money. Aww. So many cute things. Oh, there's one for mom. It's a peacock ornament. I'll make sure she gets it. Uh, it's a really cute sticky. It says sticky notes. Self-adhesive sticky notes, and that's what they look like inside. Mary Ellen, I want to tell you something. Last year, you sent me um, some, and I gave a pack to Aunt Sue. And Aunt Sue went on Amazon and bought four more packs because she's so in love with the book of sticky notes of the different sizes that she made me go on Amazon and find her other ones. And she searched all the stores in St. Louis. So I think if, if it's okay with you, I'd love to give this to her. I think she would really appreciate that for the holiday season. Uh, here's a gift for Jim. Like always, you're so sweet. Pass the Ugly Sweater. A card game for two to six players. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to see how you play that. Aw, thank you, Mary Ellen. You're always so sweet. Let's see. I have a box of goodies waiting for Mary Ellen for me to have money so I can send it to her. I know that that sounds terrible. Aw, a gingerbread tree uh, house because a uh, card. This is a gingerbread card. Mary Ellen's whole Christmas theme is gingerbreads and candies. Merry Christmas. <gasps> it's got a recipe in it. Peppermint candy cane cookies. Ooh, that looks good. I'll have to try them. Every holiday that passes brings sweet memories. It's, it's, it's true. That's why it's so delightful to share the recipe with you. May you be warmed by the season with love, joy, and peace in the coming new year. May your happiness increase. Oh, how cute. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas, love, Mary Ellen. Aw. Oh, Mary Ellen, it's okay. This is more than enough. She said, sorry, it can't be more. This season has been crazy. But I wanted to send all of you a little something. I love you. We love you too, Mary Ellen. Thank you. 
and really this is more than enough it's not it's totally not necessary but it's really greatly appreciated thank you um she got you something too ah my belly so christmas now i got my yeah. <laughs> i got mine now let me give jim his Doing. Got your glasses. Ooh. Mandela ornament. Oh, nice. Like a dream catcher? Hmm. Oh, that's so pretty. Let me show the people. <sighs> oh, that's so pretty. It says, don't dream your life. Live your dreams. Ah, Jimmy needs that. <laughs> that is a perfect for him. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Ah, you put that on the tree? You're going to hang it in your room. Ah, put it on the tree. Put it on the tree until you take the tree down, then you can hang it in your room. I don't know. He's contemplating. Maybe he'll put it by his desk where he does his Bible study and stuff. Thank you, sweetheart. It's very sweet of you. And really, like I said, not necessary, but really greatly appreciated. We thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I got friend mail. And it's this really cute little package. Look at this cute little package. I love it. It's got all the candies on it. It says it's from Brenda Walsh. And it says it's a LuLaRoe. Yeah. It says LuLaRoe Brenda Walsh. So, thank you, Brenda. Oh, I'm going to try to open it gently. The one-handed scissor method. <laughs> Sounds like this, you know, the tripod's right here. The tripod's right here. Just put it on the tripod and stand it up and it'll be a professional. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to always having it ready for me. And falling over and standing it up with all the things. Okay. Now it wants to be uncooperative. So I found out I had mail because there was just loud boom a second ago and I like thought something exploded because I looked at the it sounded like it could have been thunder, but it like shook the house. And it's not raining, and I looked at the app, and the app said partly cloudy all day. And it does look like it's going to snow, the sky of snow, but it's not supposed to snow because it's still warm. So maybe it's that cold hits hot boom, but it sounded like an explosion. So I ran out there, and I couldn't see anything. But I used to live on a very busy street in New York, and there was lots of accidents. So I knew I wanted to be in a, the rescue company of the fire department because they were always there trying to save somebody. So, I need a better scissor. There we go. Uh, don't send me a better scissor. I was just thinking, making a point of it. <laughs> Woo! Hashtag professional. What did I get? Aw. So, it's a cute little, look, red truck bag. They're so cute. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And it's got a little red truck on it. And it's a twisty bag. Let me see what's in the twisty bag. Well, here, there's a card. Thank you for your purchase. Your support is greatly appreciated. Lula Rowe, Brenda Walsh, independent fashion re retailer. And then... Her, she has a Facebook group. It's FB backslash groups backslash Lula Rowe, which is L U L A R O E Brenda Walsh. B R E N D A W A L S H. Can you see it down there? There's Brenda. Hi, Brenda. I love it. That's very cool. So it says buy 10 items, get one pair of free leggings. Hi, Jerry Ann. Ignore the purchase information on the pit, on the postcard. I wanted to send you a little something in appreciation for your part in my healing. From the very first YouTube video I watched of yours, 
My life started to get a bit better. I have been struggling for a year since my dad passed away unexpectedly. Two weeks from being diagnosed of stage four cancer to when he passed, your videos bring a calmness to me that I can't find anywhere else. Thank you. Love, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. It's very sweet. It looks like got something. My heart just breaks for her, so let's see what this is. This is a 2C2 and it says leggings, 2C2, a TC2, excuse me, TC2. And there's an item number. Oh, they're really cute. They look like skinny girl leggings, but let's see. I guess that's the size, TC2. I've never shopped or purchased anything from LuLaRoe. I'm gonna put these on and I'm gonna let you guys know how they are. Thank you, Brenda. They are so soft though, I have to tell you. Oh my goodness. Super soft, super soft. And let's see, there's a little baggie here. Oh. There is a beautiful pink pen to stay magical. Can you see it? It's very hard to read because it's like white on pink. I'm trying to, yeah, like something right there. I think you could see it. It's beautiful. And actually, did I just hold it to you upside down? I don't know that I did. No, I think I was holding it right. Right? Okay. When I go to edit it later, I'll be like, you could totally see it, but on the camera. Brenda. She gave me a Joanne's gift card. Oh, just a little bit to help you with cost of DIY stuff. I know something some things are a better bargain at Joann's with sales co sales combo etc. I couldn't get to Hobby Lobby to get you one from there. This was at my grocery store. Oh Brenda you are so sweet. Thank you. Oh my god that's so sweet. I Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart truly um, there's a Joann's by my target which is a little far away but we do travel there about four times a year so that's okay but I'm also going to Texas and there's Joann's all over there so I'll be happy to get some stuff and I love this bag now it looks like the print it looks like the 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 print from the Dollar Tree, but I didn't see these. These are so cute. These are so cute. I love that. Well, Brenda, thank you so much. Everybody, you guys make my heart so warm, so full. It's really hard for me to put into words, honestly. So I wanted to thank you all. Um, thank you, Brenda. I love you. And um, stay tuned. I'll try to do a try-on for you. 
just wanted to say, unfortunately, they didn't fit. Um, they fit wide ways, but then they got too short. <laughs> but thank you, Brenda. They're beautiful, and they're such nice quality. I really am jealous now that I can't wear them. So, But thanks. I want to thank everybody who sent us Christmas cards this year, including Amanda and the lovely gifts from Brenda and Mary Ellen. Um, of course, Kathy as well. You guys enrich our lives so much. Um, we thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. Um, I also received Christmas cards from my family as well. My friends, Joyce and Michelle Rudolph. Hi, Lizzie. And, um, and my sister, um, Alicia. So it's, it's been a fun, it's been a fun time. Of course, we got one from, um, mom's cousin, Judy and other family members around. So thank you all for a everything we appreciate just the love and support especially knowing that stamps are so expensive so sending christmas cards can be is becoming hopefully hopefully it won't become a thing in the past that's what i try to say my dad used to tell a story he goes i remember when christmas cards were one cent to mail if you don't if you didn't close the envelope um because then they became third class mail and christmas cards were uh what he said, um, you get, they were a penny each, you got a hundred for a dollar. So he said, you know, he would go with bags, like shopping bags full of, um, Christmas cards down to the post office for, from his mom. So, um, they used to send them just as greetings for everybody that you pretty much knew. <laughs> and my parent, my grandparents owned a restaurant, so they probably had a lot of Christmas cards they sent to people. So, um, yeah, it's just not that way anymore, unfortunately. But I really do appreciate everybody who does extend themselves to us. We really can't tell you how much it means to us. It really is more than it's overwhelming. So as always, you take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.